Fox has so much of like a, a close up, crazy, not kind of neutral, and that's the kind of way Fast plays. He doesn't sit still most of the time. Although, when he does have to be. Never mind, we're going to see Sephiroth. Sephiroth. All right. I forgot completely about uh, Cereza's been a bit of a Sephiroth stand since he came out, so. I like this matchup, though. There's a lot Sephiroth can do here, and uh, since I I've watched several hours of uh, Nairo and Light's uh, offline practice uh, streams, like uh, Sephiroth, Sephiroth Fox. Um, downer and down tilt are like, obl like obliterate Fox. Yeah, so. I can see it. Was that Thunder? Okay. <laughs> anyway, uh, Thass started it off, backer, down some, or, uh, dash attack, just oh. his combo game. And he, he's so good at calling out all of these. <laughs> I love his tag. I love his tag. <laughs> Chicks dig it. He was a babe magnet last week. I thought that was that was really powerful. Last type. week, nah, not nah, always. Yeah, always. Or, or well, yeah, he he's always the bag, babe magnet. That's why chicks dig it. But like he's so good at calling out pretty much every air dodge down. Wow, nice. If he knows that there's not a, uh, if he knows if he can't convert into something as a true combo, he'll just wait for you to pick an option, and it's just like like right there. That up throw was actually really great parry. Wow, wow. That that up throw was actually really terrifying from Thatch just because. He's so good in these juggle situations. Like, right there, waiting for the air dodge. He didn't get the punish, but, like, he knows it's coming. That's what's going to be the difference in this match right now. Yeah. He's so hard to keep up with. It's, like, it's really mentally... I like that Weird up there. Trade. It's really mentally taxing to play against this fox in, like, a good way for him. Just because he's... I mean... That's wow. going to give him wing, though. Ooh. Good patience. Yeah, good patience. Knowing that there's not really much that uh, fox can do against Dr. Slash. What? Wow. That is incredible. I've never seen that happen before. I, I've never seen that either. Wow. Waiting it out. Very good. That would and be that really tippered. Yeah. Oh my god. That'd be a really good bait though, because down before from uh, Sephiroth is lagging enough that uh, Thass probably could have punished off of that. I don't know if he expected that to happen though. Well, maybe we'll see it later. Yep. And I thought he was gonna up there, but he's uh, instead just just waiting for some waiting kind of defensive condition. landing option. Clearly this isn't. Is starting to keep up. But yeah. Maybe it's not gonna be fast enough. Yeah. We'll see. Oh, okay. He might have wanted uh, up smash there, but he uh, maybe was unsure about which position or which uh, side Cereza was going to land on. So that's going to be a regrab, but it's wow. not going to matter. Weird hit uh, that that got fast there on that down or uh, on that Oxy slash. Great parries from Thass right now. These parries are horrifying from him. Especially against Sephiroth, who I find to be one of the hardest characters to parry against just because of his long range. Yep. And you saw how safe that was. I mean, Thass, he let go of shield as soon as Octoslash uh, it was safe to, yeah. and he still wasn't able to get the down smash. And he's keeping it up right now after that up smash. Oh, sending him off with the jab one. Ooh, all right. Jeez, these hits from Sephiroth are very satisfying and very beefy. All right, Thass is just being so elusive at getting away from ledge every time he's in disadvantage. I like the decision. Surprised we haven't been seeing a whole lot of nares from Cerezo lately. Yeah, that would be. I mean, it's that one seems of the to few. Intercept uh, a lot of Fox's moves. Yeah. It being super disjointed and incredibly safe. Absolutely, and like it's one of. That geez. killed off the geez. top. Wow. <laughs> Fox is light, but like I still didn't this see seems that like coming. Seems like a very volatile matchup. Definitely. There's a lot Sephiroth can do, but also he's very prone to getting juggled, as you can see um, throughout this match. And both incredibly light. Yep. Ooh, ooh stage bike? All right. I, nah, that's you, is, you were getting too used to, the, yeah. to the, that match last night. Oh, no. Ooh. Not All right. Kill. Jeez. I l that was almost really good from Soraya. I mean, it was. It was just he was a little bit too late just because of how slow that move is. Oh, wow. He just goes right in with that dash attack. That was really risky. The Nair sending him back on stage. Oh, that's it. No. That is not it? Sends really low. Oh, okay. Air dodges through that. I thought we were going to see the up smash or maybe a nair. Or up, th up air, I meant. God, this is terrifying. Soriza could really? do this. That's going to be it, and though. That's going to be it. Wow. I like the. That was almost a really good comeback from Soriza. It only takes a few hits. It oh, really cool. only does. It really does. I mean, he. Th that dash attack was like it was really unsafe just because like there's a lot of startup on on Sephiroth's dash attack and like it's very punishable but like he still made it work. Yeah. Um. So when Thass gets a first game win like this, it's really hard to to bring it back just because he gets crazy momentum off of that. Um, him and Dark Shadow are the first names that come to mind when it comes to like that kind of momentum. So we'll see how this goes. Let's see the counter pick here. 
I don't think we'll see a switching characters. I mean, we might see the uh, the Bayo. I think I think it would be fine. It's just that the Sephiroth was looking good there at the end, so I want him to trust whatever he thinks is uh, like the gut move here. Keeping it. All right. All right. So staying on Sephiroth. I like the decision there. He's doing a very good job. So. All right, PS2 again. All right, I like Sep uh, Sephiroth, uh, Cereza, just keeping his distance this time, although Fast just manages to find his way in and get these hits all the time. Uh, tilt Stick helping him out there, getting that uh, that dashed canceled uh, up tilt. Catching with the oh, end hit geez. of Fair. Honestly, one of the biggest things that, that Fast has in this matchup is having the ground movement to be able to cover Cereza's plat drops. Oh, yeah. Oh, Again, wow. More parries. Wow. Jeez, he manages to find a way every time. I love it. And Fast looking like he's on a tear. He, he wants to He wants to get top eight today. He wants to win. He wants the chance to fight Dark Shad again. All right, catching catching the roll in there and just uh, trying to get that. But Fast is just way too good at mixing up his recoveries here. Oh, wow. Sariza, he really is getting a lot of mileage off these down smashes. You like to see it. But the combo there from Sta from Thass, another up air. Thass is getting a lot more mileage, it seems. Yeah. Off of every single interaction. It's like is getting a couple good interactions here and there. It's just that Thass is winning more consistently. Ooh, all right. Getting that similar wait time at ledge to read the roll. <laughs> wow. wow. Uh, th these are such like weird uh, options from Cereza, but he's making them making the best of them. <laughs> I like the walk away there. Definitely learned that one from Rio. All right, Thass is starting to call out these unsafe down smashes. I mean, we might see it again here. Oh, down tilt. Doesn't want to use a move that's too laggy in case that he gets punished for it, but I think I would have rather just seen the the, the up first up B. Yeah. And forward throw. And you, you can hear Thass mashing. He, he is so quick at getting out of grabs like that, and that's going to be the sour spot. And look, I don't know. He's landed one of those successfully. It's just Thass is so good at mixing up his recoveries. Reading the jump. Yeah, getting the up tilt. Not the biggest hitbox in the world on that move, but it's very good at catching jumps. So. All right, Thass just waiting on that top platform, just daring Cereza to approach him with anything right now because he knows he can pretty much outframe data hit most of the time. Although the range is very important here. Playing it a little bit too early there. Yeah, he used it a little too early, so he wasn't able to get the second one out in time. Oh, just getting some extra chip damage in with those lasers. Now, this was where Cereza was last game, although this edge guard situation is going to be very scary for him. Oh, good patience. Yeah, good patience. All right, the up air catching the uh, the jump out of shield into up air. Forward air. Surprised we haven't seen more F tilts. Yeah, that the That seems like a very good move in this matchup, especially against any fastball. Yeah, that's it. I yes. honestly feel like that's uh, Sephiroth's best move. It it, it's one is. of them. Yeah. It's the reason that, like, Gimmin watched Sephiroth is really hard. Also, uh, Thass getting the up smash there uh, because of the, uh, I think it was another unsafe up smash from uh, yep. from Cereza. Thass definitely showing his maturity in that matchup. But the character, he's been out for about a half a year.